Hey, hello to all. Uh, welcome to Hacker Associate. In this section, we are going to discuss about a new update regarding AMAS. So AMAS, okay, you already know it is a subdomain scraping framework. Okay, where okay, like we will going to look at the subdomain, right? Using the particular tool called AMAS. So before we were using okay config dot ini file okay for API things, and nowadays okay like the version is changed completely, and we need to use config dot yml file. That exactly the update I want to give you okay in this particular video. Let's get started and see in the practical section. So if you go to the Google and if you can simple go here, uh, just search AMAS and GitHub, right? So when you simple search AMAS GitHub, you can clearly see that in depth attack surface mapping. And okay, here you will see clearly the version is completely changed. So this is the version, new version. Okay, you can see version four. So in order to set up the AMAS, you first required Go language a setup. Okay, you can check my previous video for that. Second case is simple. You can copy this command and you can paste okay in your terminal if your Go is set up. So here you can see this is my uh, VPS server, and I am basically simple you know adding this command specifically on the terminal. So once you press it, when you press once you press enter, you can see clearly it will going to install. Okay, in my case already installed, and when you simple just type AMAS minus h command and you can clearly see that it is working properly right now coming to the config file so config file you can see clearly is located okay under this location config.yml so if i open the documentation part of this you can clearly see that okay this is the example right this is the example under the example we have a word list and you can see config.yml and data source.yml so these two files now added okay under that particular config so what you need to do you need to check this config file cd dot config. So when you do ls minus la command, okay, it will show you the config file, which is you can see clearly this is the config file. This will be there okay in your operating system. So you can simply go and navigate to the config, and you will not see that folder called amas. So you need to create a directory and create a folder called amas. So in my case, I created the amas folder. After that. You can copy that file, okay, which is config.yml file and data source.yml file. So, which I just now shown you here, right? Uh, you can simple go uh, these sections. You can simple click on the row framework. It means this particular button and copy the entire thing, okay, and paste, okay, in this particular file config.yml. Same way you can paste data source.yml. Once it is done, you can simple go and edit the file like this. So, sudo nano. Uh, config.yml and you can see clearly this is basically config file right and I added okay like uh, this particular part because I am using postgres databases but in your case there is no need to configure this okay so what you need to do is you simple go to this config file this is my location and after that you can simple configure data source.yml so how to do that sudo you can use nano uh, data source.yml and whatever the keys you will be having you can see clearly in my case I'm using a shodan key I'm using a census okay these are all API key okay you can use it so you can see this is the API keys okay and if you just go and check shodan it will be downside okay so add okay your API key under the API key section okay and then you can basically start scanning on a specific target that exactly is the update I want to give you in this particular section this is a part one and part two i'm going to record okay specifically for target mapping so how we can select a target and how we can use emas effectively for bug bounty so stay tuned with me okay for a new and new episodes and here is an output okay so you can see clearly like when i type this command uh emas in a minus d google.com and you can see it is started working on this and you can see i'm able to collect all the information so the main important part is configure the tool in the right manner second you require api key configure the api key okay in the right manner and you are ready to go that's all for this particular section i hope you enjoy the video and have a great day see you in the next episode